thank you very much, Madam Chair Lady. Acknowledge the presence of our distinguished Governor General, His Excellency Sir Rodney Williams, and his deputy, Sir Claire Roberts, my colleague minister, the Honorable Asset Michael, various members of the diplomatic corps, to include His Excellency Albert Hartog, the principal of this development, the principal of Orange Company, and the Perrins Point development. Other distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I am very, very pleased to be here this afternoon to celebrate the successes of Orange Company and the developers of Perrins Point during the last year. And I emphasize the last year because it is clear that there was a groundbreaking that took place here at least two years ago. And clearly, the project was slowed, but with the progressive destiny of the Antigua and Barbuda Labour Party government, things have now accelerated. So again, very pleased with the progress that has been made. I'm sure that you would agree with me that this is easily one of the best sites that you can find anywhere in the world. It is amazingly beautiful. And when you combine the physical attributes of this site along with the architecture, I can assure you that this project will become the epitome of elegance and of beauty. And I want to take this opportunity to signal the full support of my government to ensure that APUA and the other agencies of government work along with the directors of Orange Limited to ensure that the infrastructure is completed on a timely basis and to support the overall development of this project. This project will be transformational in scope. In fact, I'm told that there are several international celebrities who have already purchased real estate on this most beautiful piece of real estate, this most beautiful peninsula. I'm told that one such group is the Rothschild group who have purchased several lots here and will spend in a region of 30 to 40 million United States dollars to construct a few homes here on this peninsula. In fact, I have been advised that this project will see approximately 300 million US dollars invested over a period of five to 10 years. And clearly, in a small country with a small economy, such a project will create significant opportunities for the people of Antigua and Barbuda. Certainly, a number of our contractors, many who have been unemployed for the last five to eight years, will now find work. Many of them who have idle heavy equipment, they will find work here. And clearly, when the hotel would have been constructed, a number of young, bright Antiguans will find a career right here at Prince Point. So again, this project is very significant. It is significant from the standpoint of helping us to grow our country's economy. And it is significant in terms of helping us to market Antigua and Barbuda as a high-end tourist destination. In fact, this product or this hotel and this overall development will help us to differentiate Antigua and Barbuda easily as one of the finest tourism destinations in the Caribbean and the world. So, so we welcome all of the partners. We welcome the Satai Group, evidently an international brand, a high-end brand, and one which will help to ensure that Antigua and Barbuda operates at the highest level on the world stage, one in which Antigua and Barbuda will be known for luxury brands, one in which we'll be able to attract more wealthy people to this country. And it's very important that we continue to attract wealthy individuals. The reality is we must continue to attract investments to this country in order to grow and develop. Let no one fool you. The reality is we do not have sufficient capital in this country to provide a meaningful level of um, our living standard for the people of Antigua and Barbuda. So clearly, if we're going to improve the living standards of our people, we must attract more investments. That is our goal, our oil, our diamond. And that is why my government 
is so assertive, so aggressive to attract more investments to this country, to ensure that we increase or improve the living standards of all the people. And I emphasize all the people because my government is an egalitarian government. And we believe in the concept that a high tide raises all boats. So the idea is not to lever down any sector of our country's economy or any class within the country, but to make sure that not with, notwithstanding uh, whatever position you may in, your social economic class, that our policies will uplift all the people. So we welcome this development as a high-end development. We welcome the contributions of Orange Limited, Mr. Albert Hartog, who is not only a diplomat now, but also a major philanthropist on the island. In fact, I'm also advised that a percentage of the gross sales of this development will be made available for philanthropic work on the island, and we also welcome that initiative. Now, the final issue, and perhaps the most important issue, is the issue of the environment. Clearly, this is one of the most pristine areas in the world, one of the most beautiful sites that you can find anywhere in the world. And we would encourage, we will implore the developers to ensure that the development is done on a sustainable basis to maintain the natural habitat, to maintain the, the, the flora here, to ensure that the tropical scenery is maintained because that is how you're able to differentiate this, project, this product compared to other global projects. Uh, again, we believe in sustainable development to ensure that our development is done in tandem with the environment and to ensure that we protect the environment for future generations. So I take this opportunity to wish you every success and I hope that this project will become the ep 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 epitome of success in the Caribbean and beyond. Once again, I thank you and all the best to the developers.